Well, folks, it's been a long winter, but spring is upon us, and you know what that means, camping season. Today, I've got some ribs going on the Weber 26 behind me, and we're gonna get the A-frame camper out of the garage and dewinterize it. Let's get going. It's out. We're ready. Yeah, you ready to lift? Yeah, I guess I'll go do that on the other side. Okay. You're doing all the work. Is it snapped down yep. on your side? We're snapped. We're good. Okay. Just like that. So Alf has been in storage. Well, storage. Our garage. Since the end of October 1st of November. And Today is cleanup day because we have a camping trip coming up next weekend. So the things that we're going to try to focus on today are the inside of the camper, making sure that no critters or rodents got in over the winter, which we don't think that they did, but it's always a chance. Making sure that the sink is clean and dusting and getting everything out and just kind of starting over and making sure we have what we need. This is what ALF looks like in the winter. So we make sure that we leave the refrigerator door propped open with our handy dandy broom. And then we got our shower curtain there that we're gonna use again this year. And bed set up. And it looks like some dust has settled over the, uh, the winter. So we have some floor issues, but everything looks pretty good. What do you think, Matt? I think it looks good. Yep. Just gonna get it dusted off and we'll be good to go. Awesome. Probably have to put air in the tires because it's been sitting for a while. Are we dewinterizing today? Yes, we are. Yes. So, and I'm also gonna spray the ribs. Oh, rib time. Yeah, you wanna see the ribs? Yeah, I do. So we're spraying ribs. Oh, they look look pretty good. They've been on for how long now? Uh, I don't know, half an hour, hour. Well, what time is it? About an hour. Okay, that's fun. So, got your snake going. That's good. They look yummy. That's it, we're done. While Matt's getting the water hose to dewinterize, I'm gonna clean up all the surfaces just with uh, some water on a lovely towel. So. Matt has hooked up the water hose to Alf, and I'm just making sure that no water just flows out of the sink. <laughs> we're going to do winterize now. So essentially all that means is we're just going to run the faucet and the toilet until the pink stuff is gone. And that's about it. We got our house water hose hooked up with the regulator. Always remember that regulator. Here we go. Pink. Okay, let's get the wrong one clear. Ooh. There we go. Now I'm going to switch sides, make sure that we get both hot and cold. Yep, see there was more pink in that. Next is the toilet. And yeah, we're not hooked to electricity, but... We got battery. We got battery? Yeah. Yep, pink. Now nope, keep going. Just leave it open. Uh, yeah. <laughs> well, it's easier to see the color if it's... Yeah. Pink. Okay, there we're going clear now. The question is, do we want the water heater this year, or right now, or not? Because we, we don't, don't have to fill it up, and the anoid is still out. The we, anoid is out? Yeah, we took it out. Where is it? It's in the compartment outside. Okay. 
So we need to check that. But do we need the hot? No, we don't need the hot, hot water, water heater. Maybe we just leave it like it is. Okay. All right. So we're not going to have to do anything with that because we don't need the hot water. Right. So yeah, the way it's set up now, oh, it's the bypass. Yeah. Yeah, we're See, bypassed. That's, that's closed and that's closed. So this is out of the loop and it's just going straight. And the arrow, I'm sorry, the way that the handle points indicates whether or not it's closed or open. So that's pointing against the pipe. So that means it's closed. Correct. And that one's open. So I think we just leave it like that, which we did all that for nothing, but that's fine. Well, we got a couple gallons run through there which I think is going to be fine. So now what I'm going to do is turn the water off and fill the water tank. So on this side, right over the air conditioner, is our water filter, which has all clear water in it now. And, and the there's, not water actually pump. A fil there's not actually a filter in there right, right. now. Right, we just don't have a filter. Where we could put a filter. Um, but everything looks pretty clean in here and there's no leaks since we, you know, added new water and stuff. And I don't see any places that critters got in over the winter, so that's good. Are you right, happy? Cool. Yeah. Okay. It's a good inspection. Okay. And that one goes to our back hatch thingy where we keep all of our hoses and whatnot. So that's the hose on electric. Yep. All right, so we've got one more compartment to check. Looks good so too. Look, looking good? Yeah. Do we need to take all the stuff out to check the corners, or are you happy? Well, let's, let's, um, let's see what it looks like up here. Okay. Sleeping bag, sleeping bag, yeah. sleeping bag. I think we're fine. No critters. Excellent. Good job, Elf. <laughs> Two more things that I want to do. One, we I want to do the grease of the uh, stabilizer jacks. Oh, yeah, yeah, we could do that. And then I want to open all the windows and just yeah make sure that they're all good to go. And well, we should also do tire pressure. And check tire pressure. Ah, that's what we're looking for. We got everything done we wanted to get done, and I think Alf is ready for its first trip. So yeah. um, we're gonna we're gonna take it down now. It's time to close her up. That's all she wrote. One more smidge. Okay, that, we're close. One more smidge. That's it, done. We fit, but we barely fit. Yep, all back in the garage and ready for our first camping trip. Please subscribe to follow along on those health adventures. It had brats. Yeah. <laughs> it did. So, are they done? No. No, not done. No, yet. not done. But they're ready to wrap. Wrapping the wrapping. Yeah, wrap it a second time just in case we punctured or something the first time. Okay. It is a new day and we forgot something. Amy, our friend from Big Crazy Outdoor Adventures, reminded us that we needed to uh, grease the locks as well, or the lock on the door. She had a friend once who forgot to do that or didn't do that and then had to drill out the lock on, on his door because he couldn't get it open. So let's do that now. That should do it. I'm going to put the key in too, just to, you know, test it. Okay. 
Thanks to Amy for reminding us about that one. I really don't want to have to drill out the lock. Now it's your turn. Did we forget something? Let us know down in the comments if we did, because we're going out this weekend. All right, we'll see you in the campground. Thanks for watching.